going on guys? We got Cordy's here over on CoachCore.com and it's a great day and today I wanted to go over some tips for following up professionally in network marketing. So I just kind of reviewed the chapter of GoPro. If you haven't read this book, if you don't got it, I recommend GoPro by Eric Worre. It's a great book and the chapter on following up is probably one of the best chapters in this book, I think, hands down. So the first thing you want to do when you follow up is simply doing what you said you would do. So for example, let's say you prospect to somebody on Twitter and you got to know them, you got their number and you said, okay, what time's a good time for me to call? And they said seven o'clock PM and you figured out, you know, the difference in the time zones or whatever. So you said, okay, I'll call you at seven. So what you want to do, obviously, is write that down on a piece of paper or your calendar or a notepad, and you want to make sure you actually call them when you said you'd call them. Following up is really simple. It's not hard. It's all about doing what you said you'd do. Um, and what I like to do is I like to get the person, the prospect or whatever, on the call first. I like to get to know them before I put them through the process of my presentation and what I have to offer, um, especially if there's somebody totally new who's never seen network marketing. What I like to do is get them on a call with my upline, my mentor, and talk to them, get to know them, see if it's even a right fit for them to begin with, and then I like to send them a video. I like to send them a video about the products or explaining more of the opportunity and what it's all about and just feeding them information that way they can make an informed decision. That's another thing Eric Worre teaches. He always says, as network marketers, we're information providers, and what we want to do is help people make informed decisions that will either benefit their life or, or if they don't decide to, 